Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, how to calculate the follow set in compiler design. So first, let us see why we need to calculate the follow set and where it will be used. So the follows, the first and follow sets are used in lexical analysis space and the first and follow sets are used by the parser to apply the correct production rule. And before calculating the follow set, we need to calculate the first and then we need to make sure that the production should not contain the left recursion. If the productions are there, if, if the productions contain the left recursion, we need to eliminate the left recursion and we need to calculate the first and follow sets, right? Now, let us see the procedure to be followed in order to find the follow set. So first, the first step is consider, consider star in a follow set of start symbol. So for any start symbol, consider dollar as a one set value, right? And next, let us consider alpha as a terminal and beta as a non-terminal, beta as a non-terminal. Then if the production is of the format, x tends to alpha followed by beta, that means here you need to follow that the non-terminal should be searched in on the right hand side. So this follow will search non-terminal, this is most important, non-terminal on right hand side of the production, on right hand side of the production, right. So you can see the follow of beta, so beta is on left hand side uh, sorry right hand side right then there is no other non-terminal or a terminal after the beta so then simply you need to write follow of x see once again i'm repeating if the production is of the format x tends to alpha beta where beta is a non-terminal and we need to follow the uh, we need to find the follow of beta and here after beta there is no other symbols either terminal or non-terminal so that's why simply we need to assign the follow f x to the follow of beta, right? Then if the production is in the format x tends to alpha y beta, where y and beta are non-terminals. So let us take y and beta are non-terminals. And simply if you want to find the follow of y, so simply that will be the first of beta first of beta where beta is also a non-terminal beta and if epsilon is not in first of beta if the epsilon is not in first of beta if epsilon is there then simply apply this epsilon in terms of beta right so that we'll get the first of beta without epsilon without epsilon union the follow of the follow of x follow of x so simply you need to apply the epsilon here and if there are any other uh, non terminals again you need to repeat the same process if there are no non terminals here simply it will be the follow of x right see so let me explain uh, one example So now let us consider the example. So first we need to find out the first. So this already done in the previous video. So now we'll find the follow. So follow of yes and follow of B, follow of C, follow of D, follow of E, follow of f we need to find all these things first let us find the follow of yes so search yes on right hand side right so there is no yes on right hand side so s is a start symbol so we need to include dollar 
and coming to the B, coming to the B. So search B in the right hand side. We are having the production this one. So only this production we are having. So simply you can say A, B, D and H. So what is the follow of B? Check D. D is a non-terminal. So simply we need to consider first of D. If the first of D doesn't have the epsilon. So first let us check the first of D. So first of D is having. See first of D is having G, F and epsilon. Write down G, F and epsilon. Now apply the epsilon on D. So A, B, epsilon, H. So this will be A, B and H. Now what is the follow of B? It's a terminal. So if it is a terminal, simply write down the terminal. Okay. If it is a non-terminal, we need to consider the first. If it is a terminal, simply consider the terminal. And see here, uh, follow of C. So find the C on R RHS. C on RHS. So what is the C on RHS? You can find this one and this one. So after the non-terminal C, there is no other terminal or non-terminal. So then we can uh, simply follow the follow of B. So it will be the follow of B. So follow of B is nothing but G, F and H. And coming to the D, find out the D on right hand side. So here we are the production A, B, D and H. So what is the follow of D? It's a H. That's a terminal. So simply you can use the terminal itself. And follow of E. So here we are having E. So E and F. So follow of E is having F. F is a non-terminal. So then we have to consider first of F. If it doesn't have the epsilon. First let us find out first of F. So first of F is having the epsilon. So apply the epsilon here. So applying the epsilon here. So E and epsilon. So that is nothing but E. So E doesn't have any other terminal or non-terminal because we are finding the follow for E only. So then automatically it will be having the follow of D. So what is the follow of D? H. And follow of F. So follow of F you can observe only here it is there. So after the F we are not having any terminals or non-terminals. So simply the follow of F will be the follow of D. So follow of D is H. So this is how we have to find out the follow. So if there is an epsilon, simply apply the epsilon and again consider the follow of that particular remaining. And if if the uh, uh, I mean follow of uh, a non-terminal is a non-terminal, then again you need to apply the first of that particular non-terminal, right? Now we'll see one more example. So let us see. So in this example, we have find out the left recursion and we have removed the left recursion. So these are the uh, productions after removing the left recursion. Now we need to find the follow. So follow of yes and follow of uh, a and follow of uh, a dash and follow of b. So if follow of yes, so s is a start symbol. So it's simply dollar include the dollar. So find out the s here. So there is no s available. So simply consider this one and follow of a. So there is no a here only in this production and a doesn't follow any other terminal or non-terminal. A is the last production. I mean last terminal, last non-terminal, right? So then simply the follow of A will be follow of S itself. So follow of S is dollar. And consider A dash. So A dash is also a last terminal, last non-terminal. So after this A dash, we are not having any terminal or non-terminal. So that's why we can simply say that follow of A dash will be the follow of A. So follow of A is dollar itself. Coming to the B, so we are having a B here. So A, B and A dash. So this will be first of A dash. First of A dash. What is the first of A dash? D and epsilon. So simply consider D and apply the epsilon in this production. A, B, epsilon. So that will be A, B. So now we need to follow the B. So B doesn't have any other terminal or not terminal here. So we need to simply give the follow of A to follow of B. So D and so this will be the follow of given productions, right? And consider one more. So here you can see uh, there is no left recursion. So we need to follow of uh, yes, follow of uh, L and follow of L dash. So if it is yes, see first we need, uh, if, if it is yes, we are having uh, yes of L dash, right? 
and also here. So first let us consider the L and L dash. First find out the L and L dash. Fall of L. So you can see L is here. So fall of L will be the right parenthesis. Right parenthesis. Right. So coming to the fall of L dash. So L dash is the last one. So there is no terminal and non-terminal after, after the L dash. So the fall of L dash will be the fall of L. So fall of L will be right parenthesis. Now consider the yes. So both productions we are having this one. So yes, L dash. So that means we need to consider it as first of L dash. So first we need to include uh, dollar because S yes is a start symbol. First of L dash is comma. So here you can see comma and epsilon. Comma and apply the epsilon here. So yes, epsilon. So that is simply yes. Okay. So there is no other symbol uh, after the non-terminal yes. So simply we can uh, follow the fall of L here. If you consider this one S L dash, so L tends to S L dash. So L we are applying epsilon on L. So L tends to S. So there is no terminal or non-terminal after the symbol S. So that's why fall of S will be fall of L. What's the fall of L? Right parenthesis. So right parenthesis. So fall of S will be dollar, comma and right parenthesis. So like this we need to apply the follow. So if the follow of a non-terminal will be having a terminal, so simply that terminal will be the follow. And if the follow of a non-terminal will be the non-terminal, non-terminal, so what we have to do? We have to find out the first of this non-terminal, first of this non-terminal. And if it doesn't have the epsilon, if it having the epsilon, apply the epsilon on the production and find out the new production and find the follow of that particular new production. So like this, we need to find the follow of this particular gram. So hope you understood this one. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.